everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Rida Olabisi. If you're for the first time, I'll need you to smash that subscribe button, okay? Alright, so let me paint this scenario for you. Let's say, for example, you just applied to an organization and you've gotten a job offer. Now, the company has sent you a PDF document. They want you to fill in some details, add to your passport, and then put your signature. And they're wondering, mm, how can I go about it? It's one of two things, right? The first option could be, oh, if you decide to print out the document, Fill it physically, scan it, and then send it back to the organization. Or you just use the PDF editor to fill in the information and send it back. Which option would you pick? Definitely the one of using the PDF editor, right? It's more efficient and it's just easier, right? Today's video is sponsored by UPDF. UPDF is an AI powered PDF editor. It allows you to view, to annotate, to convert, to sign, to protect, to organize, to translate your PDF document. And you can use UPDF across your Mac your iPad, your iPhone, your PC, and your Android devices with just one license. You just need to make sure that you're signed in on the same account across your multiple devices or gadgets. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to walk you through how to use your PDF to edit your PDF documents. So the first thing that we want to do is, for example, we are going to say edit text. Once you click on that, it will give you the option to upload the documents the PDF document that you're looking to edit. So I'm going to upload a document now. Okay. So as you can see, the document has been uploaded onto your PDF. So what you want to do is say, for example, let's fill in the name and the last name. You can see that there is a text box that has been inserted here for you. So my first name is Rhoda. And my last name is Olabisi. So I have done that for my address now. We can see XYZ close Sugar Street. Alright, so once you are done filling these things here, let's say for example, you're also required to put your passport. What you'd want to do is click on the image on top here. And once you've done that, you see the option to add a picture comes up. So you click on, so you click on an image or your passport rather. I've selected a generic one here. I select open and you see, they ask you to kind of like drop it somewhere. And then you can also resize this to your, your preferable taste, right? So you can see I have resized this and that's just how you like add your passport if that was required let's say for example you've been required to fill in something maybe like an essay and then you need an ai to do that you don't necessarily have to go to like an external ai tool there is an ai tool that's been integrated into updf all you have to do is come to this bottom right you can see updf ai and then you can select it you may want to say for example ask something put in a prompt you can say okay describe how you contributed how a person since it's just a generic instance how a person contributed value as as um let's say research assistant for example right you click on send and then what the ai tool does is it generates possible options for you so as you can see some answers have been generated it's just like any other ai tool but what you have is it's already integrated onto your pdf so you don't have to like go to an external tool everything that you need is already integrated on your pdf so, so what we can do is you copy this for example Ctrl c so when you come here it brings out a text box for you then i paste what i have copied from the ai to from updf ai right so of course you have to then customize whatever text that you've taken to fit exactly what you are required to do this is just a generic text pasted under a generic question so something else that you can do is let's say files is a confidential document you are sending you can also protect your pdf documents with a password how you can do that is come to this right you can see protect using password when you click on that you see encrypt with password there are two options either to require a password when you're trying to open a document or you restrict editing and printing of that document 
So what I'm going to do is to require a password in order to open the document. So once you click on that, you can see it will ask you to input the password. So we're just going to use a generic password. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you, then you click on apply. You can see your file has been successfully protected from viewing using password, which means if this document, let's say it was a confidential document, was to get into the wrong hands, they would not be able to open or see the content of the document because you protected it with the password and they don't have the password. What I'm going to show you how to do is how to convert PDF to a mind map, right? So what you want to do is you want to click on the light bulb here. There is an option for you to click on generate mind map, right? Go. And see the document has been converted into a mind map so what you can do is either export you can download so what i want to do is i want to export this right so select export so click on save here and it has been saved so once you're documenting the document the next thing is to then export the file out of UPDF. So what you can do is click on export PDF here. There are different versions you can choose to export it by. There's an option to convert it to Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and different formats like that. So what you can do here is select whichever one works for you, right? And then you can come here and select save as so X Y Z. I've renamed it, and then you save. Now it's going to export and save on your laptop so if you're interested in using updf pro which comes with additional features there's currently an exclusive discount that you would get if you use the link that will be in my description box below all right so that has brought us to the end of today's video if you have any questions that are relevant to the content of this specific video do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section okay i'll try to respond to as many of them as i can and once again don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up